my whole understanding of the finances and how church teaches about giving and, and tithing and offerings and all that stuff has completely changed over the years. Um, we're not under the law. We're not under a Jewish system. We're Gentiles, you know, in, from one perspective, so who were never under the Jewish system of tithes. The tithes were specifically to support a priesthood. Um, we're not under that anymore. Those who say you need to tithe because Abraham tithed, Abraham actually gave 10% to Melchizedek and 90% he gave back to the kings who were the gangsters of his day. So really, you wouldn't want to be giving away 100% people don't obviously tell you the whole story they just give you the bit what abraham tithe so we must tithe because we're of the order of abraham but in reality tithing is an old covenant thing giving off offerings and giving under that system is no longer in place now what is in place in the new covenant is giving as directed by the father and therefore primarily in your situation your father would not want you giving to other people and your children and family suffering and not having enough so 2 corinthians i think 9 8 talks about that all grace is sufficient so that we would always have enough and that we would have our needs met and have an abundance for good deeds but ultimately it's about giving cheerfully as god directs not under compulsion not under obligation or guilt or shame or off church tithing offering messages of getting you to give more money that's all under compulsion and this is a big control system so to the end of the day you do not have to tithe you don't have to give anything that the father doesn't want you to give and first of all you just need to ask father is there anything you want me to give and bottom line is he wants you first to make sure that your family is looked after um, and so many people get into problems that they feel so guilty they're not giving to other people that they get into debt. And you know, God doesn't want you to be in debt. Obviously, we get into a debt in some situations because we don't have enough. Um, and I know people will put guilt on people. Well, well, if you were tithing, you would have you would have enough. You know, it's just control and manipulation. Just don't listen to any of that. So I would encourage you to seek God and ask God for His provision. He is your provider. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord's provision shall be seen. So the more you know him and trust him as your provider, the less you will try and have to provide for yourself. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't work or your husband shouldn't work or any of those things, because bottom line is, you know, that's one way of God providing blessing for us through work. But there are also the other ways as well. Now, you can draw out of heaven that which is there for you to have enough to do all the things you're called to do. But primarily at the moment, it feels that you're called to look after your family. That is your primary purpose. So he wants you to be blessed to be able to do that. So any guilt, shame, condemnation that comes is not from God. So who makes people feel guilty? The teaching that they've received generally through the evangelical charismatic church, which focuses a lot on the prosperity teaching and you know give more and you'll get more and sow and you'll reap and all of that stuff now there is a sense of sowing and reaping but it isn't just about money you know we can we can give to people without it being financial we can give of our time we can give of our prayers we can give of our legislation we can do things that god would have us to do without them ever even knowing necessarily we can bless people in many many different ways you being you is the best blessing that you can be to anybody else so don't feel guilty or condemned that you're not giving money. And this whole thing um, that, well, we g should give through hurt and sometimes giving hurts. You can't be cheerful giving and it hurt. So it's just nonsense that, again, another message to get you to give. Now, there's a whole lot of stuff out there in the mystic community about giving and money and stuff which again i just don't hold to you know the whole thing about trading trading into revelation then you'll get the revelation back to you quicker and all this stuff just money making schemes i don't believe any of it i if i want to honor someone and give to them and the father directs me to do it then i'll do it i'm not going to do it under compulsion and i'm certainly not going to try and buy revelation by putting money in a bucket of, of a trade into that revelation you know, again, it's just another way of making money, another system 
that and the others use other than the tithe now they're using trading and i've heard some really bad messages around that whole issue trying to again force people into trading and giving why you know if those people believe in god let them receive from god they don't need your money you know and i think this is where it only do what you see the father doing and just ask the father and only do what he shows you to do don't operate ever under guilt shame condemnation you know and don't listen to offering messages ignore them basically because they're trying to get your money if they if they were obviously in relationship with god they'll get him god's provision through him now he might in, encourage others to give or people give to me at times and i'm really blessed by that because but i don't ask for it and the father does that because god wants to do it and bless us through others and if i and i give to people as god directs me to do but i don't do it for the motive of i want more i want more i need a bigger this and i need a bigger that god wants you to have more than enough for all your needs and an abundance for every good deed and that isn't just money that's time that's capacity that's the love so god wants you to have all the love that you need and an abundance of love to be able to love others so don't think of it just about money wealth is not about money it's an attitude of heart that says i have all that i need in my relationship with god and freely i've received freely i'm going to give but giving can be of your time giving can be of your prayers giving can be many many different things other than just money itself so don't feel condemned and just trust in god's provision and just do whatever he asks you to do but be careful that you don't get into debt god does not want you in to be in debt therefore don't get yourself further in debt thinking you've got to give to this and give to that and give to the other if you can't if you can't give cheerfully if it's fear or any duty or obligation that's trying to drive you into giving you know it's not from god if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much